Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have a fun, whimsical, and affordable box that has been once again sent to me for review. It's called the Oddball Club. It's put out by a company called Ratbone Skinny, which just makes me laugh every time I say it. They have two main sizes that are most popular with subscribers. There is the micro box, which is just $15 plus shipping, and the medium box, which is $28 plus shipping, and she does ship worldwide so everyone can can get their hands on this goodness. It is always just fun, silly, sometimes nostalgic themes that she puts together. Just the kind of things that will make you smile or brighten someone else's day. So I just kind of figured it was the perfect box to open on a Monday in case you're having a case of the Mondays. Of course, I have a coupon code for you. It's Hi Noel. That will save you 10%. And as usual, I will leave all of that information for you in the description box below. You usually have to click a few of the little arrows down to open that up. Other Otherwise, I do try to pin it as a comment as well, and you should be able to find it there. Let me know in the comments below if you ever have trouble opening up that description box, and I'll try to give you better instructions depending on if you are on your laptop, your TV, or on your mobile device. If you are new to my channel, I open all kinds of subscription boxes here, mostly lifestyle subscriptions, but also books, beauty, jewelry, home decor, the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, particularly subscription boxes, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day. I'm trying to just do once a day for now instead of doubling up because I feel like sometimes you guys miss videos when I do that. But if I get a lot of boxes, sometimes I do two videos in one day. If you are subscribed, you will also find out whenever I announce giveaways and there is always a secret password giveaway going on. And of course, whenever I go live, I am planning on going live on September 8th. So hopefully I will see some of you there. We'll be talking about all kinds of things that are going to be coming up here on the channel, things coming up over in the Nobot Nook, which is our Facebook group. And of course, we will be <laughs> doing some giveaways because I just like giving things away. As always, if you are already subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today, here's our box. I opened it up. We have our QR code. So of course, QR codes, you just kind of hover your phone camera over it. A little link will pop up. You click on that and it will take you to the website that you need to get to. So it looks like our theme for this time around is every day is Taco Tuesday, which is good because I think you're seeing this on a Monday, but I am all about tacos all the time. Let me know in the comments below if you are into tacos and if so, what your favorite kind of taco is. I'm here in Southern California, so I love me a good fish taco, but I am kind of equal opportunity when it comes to tacos. I can eat them all the time. Even the really fancy fusion ones that have been coming out lately as well. So let's go ahead and uh, let me scan it and get my phone open. We'll find out as we go through if I've got the micro or the medium box that she sent to me. She does, of course, have a nice Spotify playlist, which gets you in the mood. It says, need a reason to eat tacos? Well, there's the obvious. They're fantastic. But if you want to know why they're one of the best foods, I'll tell you. I love Mexican food, and taco night is one of my favorite meals to cook and eat, especially on weeknights when I want something comforting but easy. They're also a great way to bring friends and family together with the hands-on approach of assembling your taco, making it interactive and a crowd pleaser for even the pickiest eater in the group. Plus, sharing homemade dip or guacamole with chips as an appetizer is a great way to ensure no one is hangry before the tacos are ready. There are so many choices with tacos, right? You can decide if you're going to do corn tortillas or flour tortillas, or if you are gluten-free, you can do the like fancy cheese tortillas that they have going on now, or you can even do a lettuce wrap if you want to and it still counts as a taco. I like a good soft flour tortilla, honestly, but I also like a good street taco just on a corn tortilla. Again, I love all tacos. I'll eat them any way they come. So it says, I want to celebrate that positive feeling with August theme. Every day is Taco Tuesday. This fun box is bright, vibrant, and reminds us that tacos turn any ordinary day into a fiesta. So let's dig in and see what's inside. So I will hold off on that uh, bullet point list and make sure that we uh, start to discover things together. The only thing that I will... Um, Differ or differentiate myself with is you guys know I am not a fan of avocados So I am not like one of those people who's like I don't like tomatoes, but I love ketchup. I don't like guacamole either and so 
There is a lot of Mexican food here in San Diego and sometimes I feel like they're doing you a solid and they like give you the extra guacamole even though I've asked for it on the side or like didn't ask for it. It wasn't on the menu as one of the uh, one of the ingredients and they'll be like, oh, I put guacamole on there for you. And I'm like, no, you like totally ruined my taco. That just happened to me like a week ago before I left on my trip. My husband and I decided to go out to lunch and we went to one of our local Mexican places and I ordered three tacos, like different ones. Like one was carnitas and one was beef and one was fish, I think. And they put guac all over all of them and I was like trying to scrape it off like discreetly. I know I'm a little bit of a weirdo, but I do love chips and salsa. Don't worry. I do love that and I do love Mexican food. You can definitely love Mexican food without loving guacamole. It looks like we've got a lot of stuff in here. I'm thinking I might have gotten the medium box, you guys, but let's go ahead and dive in. I'm seeing some pretty good stuff. All right. So let me see. I am seeing this really cool embroidered headband. Now it is predominantly in kind of a peachy pink, but I love Mexican embroidery. I think it's so cool. I like that knot. So of course I'm going to put it on you guys. That's actually really cute. And it's um actually very comfortable. It's like a little bit big. So it's kind of working on my large head. So let me see if I can find this. I'm guessing that this is only in the medium box. Let me see. Let me see. All right, so where is it? I don't see it yet. It's gotta be in here though. I'll find it eventually, but this is awesome. This is like gonna be my favorite thing, I think, in the whole thing. All right, that's really cute. It would look so cute with just like, you know, jean shorts and a t-shirt. We have something from SNS Dips, which I've gotten stuff from them before in other boxes and it's always delicious. This is a Fiesta dip. It looks like it's got a little bit of spice going on in there. So you just add one cup of sour cream and one cup of mayonnaise. I think I just go like heavy on the sour cream versus using the mayonnaise. I'm not a huge fan of it. It says you mix it up, chill for three hours, and then that's gonna be so delicious with chips, especially if you're someone like me who doesn't like the guac. I love a good seven layer dip, but usually mine are like six layers, right? because I take that guac layer out. So I'm trying not to make my hair stick out. So let's see, we got that. So I'm trying to find out where this is. I think this has to be the medium. So we got our SNS Fiesta dip to help you get the taco night party started right. Love it, love it. Okay, what else have we got? We have an avocado pitter and of course she does a really good job of putting like the little labels on there so these are cool i've gotten one of these before i think in a fruit for thought box which is fun so these are great tools for people to have i just ripped it so i am going to share this with someone else they even have like a sheath for the knife right so you can slice it of course they even have little like strawberries on there so i wonder if you can use it for strawberries too so you can cut your avocado open and then of course you can slice the avocado which i do think that that is a super smart idea so where is this i'm probably going to pull everything out and then just show it to you guys so it's an avocado pitter to help you cut up your green friends quickly for guac or toast. Not an avocado toast fan. I'm not a millennial though, so maybe that's why it skipped me. We have some avocado washi tape. So there's a lot of avocado stuff going on here, you guys. I don't know. I don't know about this box. I want more taco, less avocado. Avocado. Here's more taco. It's a little taco coin purse, you guys. That is so cute. It's kind of in that like like reinforced canvas like a little like plastic canvas so that is super cute adorable you can put your taco money in there once upon a time tacos were so inexpensive do you guys I, I was so I know they're like not real tacos when the jack-in-the-box tacos went from being two for 99 cents and they went up in price like I was kind of heartbroken that was like my favorite like late night food um this headband is totally growing on me and it totally matches these fun fiesta earrings which are actually the first thing on the list these are the fiesta beaded earrings it says pop these babies on for a night on the town or to add some color to your next zoom meeting they kind of have like a total like pinata vibe to them don't they so they're like a little post and then they actually don't even match which i love even more so they're little like plastic beads on there that is super cute and it does really go with the uh, headband right uh those are adorbs okay our taco coin purse it says to help round out those pesky pesky nickels and dimes and help you budget for your next taco truck stop mm. ah 
tacos. Um, right. Avocado washi tape to add to your envelopes or journal for an extra dash of style. Oh my gosh, what are these? These are like itty bitty little nails. So they're they're tiny. I don't think they're actually gonna fit on me. So it says avocado press on nails for a dash of fun and style. But like I'm looking at them and they look like they're for like people with really tiny nail beds. Like I have much bigger nail beds than that. So I think I'm gonna have to pass these on to someone. Plus my friends would be super confused if I had avocado nails. But they're really cute. I mean, I would love to use them, but look, look how little they are. Like that's like one of the biggest sizes down there. So there's a, like a thumb up here, but I think that my fingernails are just too big for those. That's okay, that's pretty cute. Um, this is adorable. So this is a taco holder. So my husband and I do have a six taco holder, which is definitely helpful for assembly. Um, but then when it comes to actually taking them off of that and then putting them on your plate, all your tacos just kind of that you carefully assembled, you know, and you did all the layers with the um, cabbage and salsas, then they all fall over. So we're always kind of like trying to share the taco holder. So now we can each have our own. Maybe he can just use the six person, the six taco holder. And then this one is shaped like a truck for two tacos. Isn't that cute, you guys? So easy to wash as well. You could also <laughs> like put napkins or something in it if you wanted to in the in-between. I'm trying to keep my hair from sticking out. That's like the one thing about like headbands. All right, this is adorable and actually something that I'll use. Uh, I think this is an apron. I think I saw something about an apron. So let me go ahead and open this up. So I guess what I'm gonna do here is just open up all the things and then we'll go through the list and make sure that we hit everything. Uh, yeah, so it says, Sol e pimienta, which I guess is pepper. I didn't know that. Sal e pimienta. So it's a cute little um, apron. It's got like some pockets. It's kind of a like shiny material. Like it kind of feels like it might be like a little bit flammable, but that's okay. So it looks like it does go up around your neck. Not adjustable or anything, but again, this is a very budget friendly box, like I said. So I'm not expecting like the most amazing apron that's gonna last forever, but it's kind of cute in the red and the black and it's gonna look good while you're out there uh, maybe grilling up some meat to put into your tacos. If you're gonna do like grilled chicken or beef or something. Um, I like to go out for carnitas cause they, they just seem too hard to do like our slow roasted pork. Um, we have a pica fresca fresia. Oh, I don't know. It's a little candy from Vero. I don't know what it's from though. I should know better. I should know my Mexican candies better, shouldn't I, you guys? We got a couple of those, but it looks like a little cherry. I'm guessing it's a little cherry candy. Now we often get a really cute greeting card from Ratbone Skinny. This one is adorable and it says muchas gracias and we have a burrito, a taco, and a packet of hot sauce. So I was just saying to a friend of mine, even while we were traveling in Portugal, which Portugal has delicious food, but they are not about the condiments. Like it was, I was hard pressed to find sauces to go with things. Now most of the stuff there is totally seasoned great, but um, if you live with someone like my husband who likes to put condiments on everything, you're definitely looking for the hot sauce. Like we have even thought about traveling with Cholula or Tapatio, like a bottle of it, just because a lot of the times if you ask for hot sauce, if you're not in Southern California, they hand you Tabasco, which just doesn't work the same on certain things, right? So um, I'm gonna have to start traveling with hot sauce. Let me know in the comments below if you are a fan of hot sauce or condiments in general. All right, we got another one. This is pretty cute and we'll go to one of my avocado loving friends, which is like all of them. Well, most of them, except um, I have found a few kindred spirits here on YouTube. I love it when you guys are like, I don't like avocado either. I'm like, oh, join the club. This one is cute though. It says, holy guacamole, it's your birthday. Ta-da! And of course, it's got a big old vat of guacamole and chips. It is fun when they come to your table and make the guacamole. Like, I do enjoy that, but again, then I'm not the person who gets it. So it's like, we always sit down for lunch and people are like, should we get chips and guacamole? And I always just kind of keep my mouth shut. And I'm like, yeah, you guys can get it. Like, I'm fine with chips and salsa, but you know. We have a little two from gift label. That's cute to go along with that birthday card if I wanted to share the rest of the items. Oh, we have a bunch of them. So that was just like a little extra talk one and then look at all these fiesta gift tags those are super cute i especially love the pinata 
Of course, so now that I've seen everything in the box, we can go through and actually read the list and make sure that we got everything. So first of all, we got our Fiesta beaded earrings. They are adorable. They're very lightweight as well. We got our taco coin purse, showed you guys that. We got our avocado washi tape. We got our holy guacamole, it's your birthday card, which is adorbs. We also got our SNS Fiesta dip, which sounds really good. Our avocado press on nails that look a little small for me, but that's okay. Okay. Our avocado pitter, which is a little bit of a weapon as well. Our taco gift stickers, that's what we just opened up. So it's perfect for adding to your wrapped or bag gifts year round. They are really cute. They're just very happy and they definitely go with a lot of the uh, decor here. Um, let's see what else we have. We have our spicy and sweet candy kickstarts any fiesta. So that's spicy and sweet candy. I gotta try those. Um, maybe not on camera, because that could be a disaster. Our pepper apron to wear while you cook up your amazing tacos, but this almost feels like it would like wipe clean with like a damp washcloth, which is also nice that you could just clean it that way and not have to wash it in the dish in the dishwasher, in <laughs> the washing machine. We have our taco truck or zigzag style taco holder. So some people just got a regular zigzag one. I got a taco truck, I'm into that. So taco truck holder, which will keep your shells upright on your plate. Let me know do you like the soft tacos or do you like the hard shells I feel like I just like the the soft corn shells um so and then our muchos gracias greeting card when you need to say thank you for a fun dinner at a friend's house or a great gift from your mom um it says nothing you guys we covered everything except for the headband I don't see the headband on here I just love the headband. It's so cute. It's like my favorite thing and it's not listed on here. So that's the one that I'll, I'll use. I just feel like I need to be wearing like a tied like tank top and, a, and jean shorts and I'm ready to go to the taco truck with my coin purse and get, get, get my delicious tacos and be like, please put the guacamole on the side. Um, now I want tacos for dinner. Are you feeling that? Let me know in the comments below if this video made you want to want to eat tacos tonight, even though it's a Monday. But now you actually have a whole day to prepare so you can do a proper Taco Tuesday. Although every day is Taco Tuesday, according to the Oddball Club. You guys, if I didn't already tell you, let's have taco be our secret password. Remember the Entry form is in the description box below. You have to be 18 years or older. You have to have a Canadian or US mailing address. You have to be subscribed to my channel. At the end of the month, I'll go through. I'll make sure you put in one of the actual passwords. I think we're up to like nine or 10 passwords so far this month. So make sure if you've missed some of them that you get as many entries as possible. It's one entry per password. Um, so yeah, taco, that's our secret password. That's a good secret password. It's the way to my heart, I know that much. I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.